<laughs> that is how you make blood. Because uh, many times what happens is, is people will uh, take, so, so, well, let's go backwards. If you're in the 1920s or 30s, mm -hmm. on film anyway, because black and white, you could just get away with Hershey's syrup or just chocolate syrup. Yeah, well, black and white, doesn't it's matter. Absolutely. So, you know, it's famous. The movie Psycho had uh, just, yeah, it was chocolate syrup everywhere. It looks really good on camera. Hard part about blood is to make it really look good on camera. So you get kids who are wanting to be zombies this year. And so they uh, they search a recipe online that says take Kiro syrup and you put the Kiro syrup in here. And then you add some uh, red food coloring. And that's, it's just just horrible. It is really it? Is. It's too thick, I would think, oh, and yeah. not just it's, just not the right. It's just not the right consistency it's too, okay. at all. So all right. uh, we have to do a little color mixing and really get this thing going. So believe it or not, I'm going to use grape juice. So we're going to start with grape juice. So in the blender goes the grape juice. Okay. And who doesn't make blood in their blender? Of course you <laughs> Come do. Come on, yeah. people. Now, here's the thing. You can either make theatrical blood that doesn't have uh, these things, or I want to make it so it's at least edible. It's not going to taste good. If I can get it in my mouth or, you know, And not things. be, yep. yeah. Yep. And if you just look at grape juice, of course, it doesn't look great. That doesn't look like blood. But that's a pretty good consistency just in terms of color. Okay. So to that, now I'm going to add some red food coloring. So here goes our red food coloring. Okay, so that's pretty good. Quite a so, bit. Well, it's fine. And then this goes here, and now, um, do you have another newscast to do? I, I was gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna just wanna... step away. <laughs> See that? That's, that's pretty good. Horrible. No, it's horrible. Yeah, no, Look it's at red. That. No, it's not it's a little tomato-y red. Okay, yeah, that's okay. That's why that is not All right. good. It needs so to be browner. To that, believe it or not, you take some Hershey's uh, syrup and you add just a little bit of that syrup and that's going to darken it just a tad. Okay, because real so blood isn't that at, bright red. You're exactly right, you're right. right. Okay. So you take a look at this. See? Not bad, so it's a little bit, I'm sorry, uh, a little bit better, <laughs> so you're fine. But then that's not the secret because it looks too transparent. If you take a look at this, and of course, why wouldn't you just squirt it out like this? See how transparent that kind of looks? Oh, yeah, not yeah, good. yeah, that's not, not good. yeah, you don't so, want that. So, believe it or not, two secrets. Number one, cornstarch. Oh. So if you put a little cornstarch in here like this, that's now going Thickens to make it Thickens things up a more, little. Yeah, and it's going to make it not as, as uh, transparent, okay? So we want that in there. And believe it or not, a little cocoa powder is great. So a little cocoa powder in there as well. Now you just have to continue to play with it. Oh, and here's the secret that nobody ever talks about. Two or three drops of green food coloring. Believe it or not, it pushes it over to, to that, that side, more like blood. Okay. okay. So all of that goes inside the blender like this. Ready? Run for your yeah, life. Yeah, run. Very good. Look at that. Now Tell we're getting that's kind of looking good. That's looking fantastic. That's getting right? like some good that's blood. That's looking good. Yeah. And so what you do is this, is now you pull it up in the syringe. So here's the syringe like this, because mm -hmm. why wouldn't you deliver it this way? Of and now course. here, put it all over here like, oh, would you look at this? Uh, Does that look fantastic or what? But it looks even better on your arm. So here. You think? So here, yeah, hold out your arm. No, I'll do okay. it. Don't, no, no, no. You got oh, another oh, newscast. Oh, okay. right? So look at this. So, so, oh, would you look at this? Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, so isn't that great? That is. Perfect. Nice now, and you can make it a little bit thicker if you want a little bit more Cairo syrup, and that's kind of how it works. But you know that this kind of runs in the family, so this is kind of a big deal it does. in the family. It does. Your folks, what, your mom has been making blood, your mom and dad, yeah. they did it since you were a little kid, Absolutely. right? For theatrical purposes. So all the blood that the rock group KISS used in the 70s, that was all my mom and dad's blood. My dad's chemist, and so he came up with the world's best fake blood. And so people like Jim Henson for the puppets would use mm -hmm. it, and Harry Anderson and Penn and & Teller, and so this is their blood, which oh, has a little bit better consistency. My goodness. But isn't that kind of fun? So it looks good, and it definitely, if somebody's tuning in right now, they're going, what is happening? happening on nine They're just news. knowing that it's the a, Spanglers are vampires. Right, so they, they always have been. When you're uh, when you're in a uh, five years old and you get to take your mom to show and tell and show everybody that she makes fake blood, man, it's uh, it's a pretty good. Mom's the coolest. Ask me about the time that dad actually sent the fake blood in the mail and then they, the truck ran over it and then he said that maybe they had mailed a cat. <gasps> and then the guy from the post office showed up. But that's a whole different story. That's a whole right? different story. That's not, story. not a big deal at all. Oh. The thing about fake blood is it just allows you to get into character and the really good fake blood doesn't use this kind of material here. This is a special formula that doesn't stain clothes or anything that way. But you're going to make your own blender blood, get it a little bit thicker if you want to, play with the proportions, but realize the science is the color color and so you're going to find all these different syrups that are available a couple minutes at Darks. the grocery store and you are going to have the best blender blood i'm going to put this on your desk really oh i want some yeah thank you yeah